Hi everyone and welcome back to some more of Paleo Pines. So this episode is going to be a little bit different because it was originally supposed to be all about the Triassic picnic and now a couple of uh, about a week after I've recorded this I realized I did the picnic so terribly wrong that I don't want to misinform you. So I'm going to scrap the majority of that episode, merge it with another one and just keep in all the fun things that happened meanwhile. So there might be a bit of an abrupt cut but for the most part the episode should go as normally so please enjoy. the hell you were not there a second ago were you i'll need to check the footage for that i was just thinking that uh that you know there's dream stones there that indicate something would be around it's a baryonyx oh it's the first time i've seen a baryonyx in this location actually so this uh <laughs> a little backward shimmy this would uh, require oh whoops would require multitasking hard um floral fragrant so you never know Okay, there we go. That was a very quick snoozle. It's very, very red, and I'm really hoping this is a rare one. It, it, it is! Cherry! Ah! Touch you! <laughs> a bright red baryonyx. Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, you are vivid and vibrant, and I've only got one popping left. I really hope I can get it, like, right in the lo correct location. So let's see then, let's just double check then. If I give you a cranberry, which is a very fitting considering your skin colour, I'd say fragrant and juicy, I think. Go on, right in the deep green. Don't make me gamble this. Oh, it's got like a big eating animation. Yes! Deep green! And I'll give you, just make sure I don't misclick, <laughs> give you a fragrant popping. Oh my god, my first big carnivore! You think, right? My only have for carnivores is Coelophysis. And the poor thing still needs some friends, by the way, but the Baryonyx is probably a loner. As in, like, that's what they're actually called. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not just crapping on the poor thing. I could either call it cherry or strawberry. Um, it's literally cherry coloured. I'd actually rather call it cherry. Again, it's still seven in the morning, so uh, my poor people aren't even available to <laughs> respond back. Oh, look at you! Oh, I got two rares. I got a blueberry muffin and a cherry. And you think, right, that, that wasn't there a second ago because, again, I was looking at Dreamstone thinking, oh, there's nothing here. I was investigating. I'll probably make sure, like, the entire clip is available, even though it'd be, like, a lot of silence. <laughs> and it was just there behind me. How cool is that? Well, unfortunately, because I only had the two fragrant poppins and they're both gone now, I'm probably just better off leaving the, um, the forest because... I can't tame anything more, like that's it, the poppins are done. And everything in the forest seems to want either fragrant, earthy or spicy, at least thus far. But I'm pleased with the results, so I'm very, very pleased. I really, you know what, I've been giving a close eye on the galleys. Still yet to see like a single, like different variation of galley. Oh, meanwhile, I was just thinking, I've been noticing that Baronyx has spawned here quite frequently. Your eyes are kind of crazy. Is that normal for the eyes? It's got very red eyes and a little chin. That's going to be an ultra rare. You're an ultra rare, aren't you? I... Oh no, I... Might not be able to buy the Poppin because it's evening. Pippin might not be available anymore. You're beautiful. You've got like crocodile scales. Oh, the markings are really cool. I don't know like if this is like really special or I've just not seen it before. But this is like the fourth Baryonyx I've seen total. This one obviously being the third one. Don't be an ultra rare. I've never been so relieved to be disappointed. <laughs> wow, I didn't know the markings could come like that. Like, there you go. That's a really great angle, actually. Look at the difference between the two. I guess my one's got the eye marking, but you've got the oh, the eye marking and the beak snout. Definitely not a beak, but it looks like one. Oh, actually, and tail stripes. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. But again, never been so happy to be disappointed. You know, I just realized I actually already have a Dino called Cherry. Um, my Stragosaurus is called Cherry. Although, you can rename dinosaurs. I had no idea. That is actually really great to hear. So in that case, uh, the Baryonyx is going to be called Strawberry after all. <laughs> That's actually, I'm really glad about that. Okay, so I've just gone and cleared out a lot more of the area, which you can barely see in the night time. I never noticed how strong the fog gets. Wow, but look at that though. All that free empty space. You know, except for the logs. I think I need a slasher for the logs, which my Kentro Ash should deal with. Yeah, okay, cool. So once Ash is happy and settled in, 
they should hopefully be, you know, the one to break all the trees with. Oh, I love you. Make a dino totally happy. Oh, I wonder which dino that was. Well, um, in any case, I, I wonder how I didn't already do that. <laughs> well, I've uh, I've expanded the uh, current pens. Poor Blueberry doesn't have enough food now because Strawberry is eating it all. Oh, I've just realised Strawberry and Blueberry, that's actually perfect. <laughs> of course, the carnivores will be named after berries. It's really hard putting this game down, so as you can see, I've done a fair bit of progress. I've cleared out a lot of the uh, kind of ruins and such behind the farm, a lot of the mess. I've made a new pen for Blueberry and a new pen for Strawberry. I've also changed up the existing pens and I have a new person to show you. So I noticed this while doing my rounds, there's a new person called Avery. And I've got no idea who Avery is. Answering a question from a questionable with another question. I'm Avery. I'm Avery, performer, entrepreneur, companion to the tiny and traveler of the night. And the day, most of the day really, it just sounds more romantic to travel at night, does, does it not? I heard tales of a new wrangler moving into the rustic rambling ranch of Viridian Valley. Tell me, the rumours of the parasols, are they indeed true? Gasp, but praise be, I must alight one day to see one of myself. This is an interesting fellow. <laughs> um, hold on. Shenanigan? Is this guy okay? Mystery, intrigue, excitement, surprises, all happening with 17th of Jurassic. It has been quite a few in-game days I've been playing along. This is a strange individual. Hold on. Travel enriches the mind and there's so many dancers to find and befriend. Saw you at the top on your new steed just now. Must say you looked mighty fine up there. Who are you? Who is this guy? So yeah, Avery is a performer, can be found visiting Pebble Plaza in far distant lands. Ever the charismatic showman, Avery travels with a troop of small dinos with a natural penchant for storytelling and a fun-loving attitude. Avery will regale you with his tales of his travels. This is the first person I've seen so far that doesn't actually have anything to offer. Oh, that's interesting. So he's just here, just vibing, I suppose? Hmm. Well, like I said, it has been quite a few in-game days. It is currently uh, the 5th of Jurassic, the second month or the second season, more like. So we have already had Owen's budding day, which is the same as Murray's budding day. It wasn't really a lot to show. Oh, and we can see it's Avery's budding day soon as well. So I guess he'll be around then or whatever it is that he does. So that aside, let's get you caught up real quick because like I said, I've been trying to put the game down and it's really, really difficult to put the game down and I hope I'm not rushing too far ahead. I hope you're all really enjoying it because I know I am personally. Thus far for any, you know, particularly interesting things, in Jurassic, it turns out that a lot of uh, crops are kind of just in bloom. So I've been getting lots of free carrots, a lot of free turnips and such, which has been really handy. I also had to help Marlo deliver some seeds from the forest to Owen, so now I have access to tomato and turnip crops. Using cherry, I also broke out a dreamstone within the Viridian Valley, so that's a new one I can now add to my collection. Murray and Owen had a fight regarding the whole Silophysis debacle again, and it seems like this time they're really upset, so I still need to talk to them. But not yet, because today I'm going to be doing some overall building and decorating. So, so far, you know, I've just been kind of making ends meet at the very minimum. My dinosaurs deserve better, we get some decorations. My farms are a state. Fun fact, the wheat still hasn't grown all the way from what? Episode three, I think. They're just not grown. The peppers keep on regrowing, but I want to redo all of this. None of this is really that very good. I would ideally like to have a slasher first to get rid of the uh, word. I assume a slasher, I don't actually know, but it's not ready yet, so. What can I do? So, go ahead and just use up some of this space and redo everything. But, I have something very important to show you. First of all, Muffin is now a happy helper. I haven't actually used them yet, but they're here and they're looking absolutely majestic. If I come over into this other pen down here, we have three Saturday Satakos. Well, actually only two. Where's the third one? Where's Minty gone? Oh, Minty's over there, just being awkward. But we now also have Squeaker and Peppermint. And I'd learned something. So these um, ultra rare Saturday Satakos, it turns out the devs are probably going to change it. They're not actually an ultra rare, which means that this whole time I haven't even gotten my first ultra rare. There's me thinking I had three of them. They're guaranteed every Saturday. So they're more like an uncommon. So that being said, not having my first ultra rare. Well, actually, look at this. Check out Lotus. 
Isn't she a beaut? Lotus here is a proud Lotus ultra rare Stratosaurus, and considering that the Saturday Stratosauruses don't actually count after all, this means that Lotus here is my first ultra rare in 21 in game days. So, really, it did take quite a while. They are respectfully rare. And you think, right, uh, one season is 21 in game days. So, I think it was either on the Sunday or the Monday I found it. Oh, but this is, that just looked beautiful. Right, <laughs> that's enough yammering away. Let's uh, actually get on then with some progress. So we check our log here. For Cinephysis, they are a herd of creatures. That means that they want to be at least four or more. So yeah, poor Blueberry really is quite lonely, understandably so. So I'm going to try and make them a much, much larger pair. And giving it, you know, making it ready for the long term. One thing I've learned in this game is that you really want to be prepared for your creatures quite early because I made a mistake where I got a bit ambitious taming a lot of dinos rapidly. And as a result of that, I didn't have the gates available because Marlow wasn't available for multiple days. I didn't have the gates for multiple days, so I couldn't make an entire pen. And uh, poor Blowbit. And poor Blueberry here really suffered the price for that one. So <laughs> let's try and avoid that happening again. I'm going to put you here, I'd say. There we go. Let's go ahead then. Get to your attention and bring you back inside here. This is much, much bigger than what they previously had. There we go. And then the next thing is to put down a couple of, uh, couple of plants. Can I put one over in that corner over there? No, but I should be able to over here. I'm thinking a couple of rock. I could just put down a rock over there. <laughs> and there we go. Switch to a valley biome. So look at that strawberries pen here. They're always going to be a loner, so I don't really have any need to expand it. I just hate the wood inside and I don't like the strange shape, but I can't change until the wood's gone. So, you know, tough on that one. Meanwhile, these lot over here. Uh, so, they're actually happy, they're actually happy, but these guys are very cramped. I mean, they enjoy their space, they're technically like happy as far as the game is concerned. I'm not. I think they've got a very, very cramped space there. So I'm thinking, I... <laughs> hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. The Satakosauruses probably don't need much space in general. And they actually don't like, uh, they got just one too much more company than they actually would prefer. So I think here... Because it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Just have like a little lone location for like the three, you know, Saturday Satakos to roam in peace together. I think that'd be like really cute. So get you to follow me. I'll get you to follow. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> you follow me. Pick up their dream stones, poor things. Oh, look at the three of them. Oh my God, all of them together are actually adorable. There's one. There's, oh wait, hold on. Uh, Lucky, I don't want to accidentally assign you, mate. Come on, Lucky, <laughs> please go. There you go. Okay, there we go. I took a couple of tries, but I managed to whistle all, uh, all three of them. And we'll put a shard there, put a shard here in the corner. And I was just going on about, you know, in a Blueberry's pen, they're looking nice they're all separated and a bit messy looking. But for this one, I think it'd be nice they're all like, kind of separated a little bit. Uh, they are unhappy though. Uh, they have nowhere to sleep. Yeah, you do. You got. What you want about? You got all these beds right here. Wait, did Peppermint? Peppermint? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Come back. And let's bring you back over here then. There we go. And they're happy. Excellent. It just took a couple of attempts. Yep, everyone's happy. Oh, good. I think that's perfect, actually. Like a nice little small pen in the corner with all three of them. Absolutely vibing. It's a nice big enough pen for them as well. And let's just check out Emerald as well. I think Emerald actually likes company. Uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, they're happy with their pen size. Okay, cool. So Emerald is actually happy as well. Double check. Yep, all good. Over here, all good. So I think technically the only one that's currently unhappy would be Blueberry. I am still bribing Blueberry with carrots every day. But uh, eventually I will need to get them some actual, you know, company. Because again, Coelophysis, they do like herds. So one thing I did want to check out actually is that apparently you can upgrade their dream stones. So here we have Strawberry's dream stone, which requires wood, fiber, dandelions, and clover. Oh, well, hold on. This is a large valley patch, large forest, large desert. Oh, okay. So can I like just confirm all this? So confirm, wait, scrap? No, hold on. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Need fiber, I've got fiber. Yeah, there you go build oh that's cute oh it's just like what lucky has oh that's really sweet actually 
Oh, look at you, Strawberry. You get the big special one. You prefer a forest biome? Oh. <gasps> Two dinos are now helpers. Oh, which dinos are these then? I've got no idea, but let me just grab my saddles then. Thankfully, just doing so many optionals, I do have a... <laughs> <laughs> a glutton of saddles. By the way, these saddles. Uh, turns out I can sell them for a hundred shells each. And I did actually spend a ton of shells on uh, loads of food, loads of um, gates, pen supplies, etc, etc. So who are the new happy helpers then? Let's see. Strawberry's a happy friend. Emerald's a happy helper. Ah, okay. It's Peppermint and Squeaker. <laughs> I feel bad that I'm disappointed. <laughs> Now, before I sort out my dino's pens, I do have this whole kerfuffle of new seeds. I've now got a grand total of turnips, uh, tomatoes, spring onions, potatoes, lettuce, carrots, and an apple sprout for a very small apple tree. I've also got more crops ready for the harvest. I can't believe that the wheat still hasn't grown yet. God, that's going to take forever. I need to plant more, but I'm afraid to, you know, move it or touch it. But in any case, I do want to start actually putting down like a proper place for my stuff. Now, I've got two choices. I can either do it manually or I can use a uh, cherry for this. I think I'll do it manually. Oh my god, see, this is why I want to make the pen bigger because I do cross all over me when I'm trying to get rid of the damn poop. Oh, that's good to know. I can move the storage unit. That's actually really handy. Um, I don't think it actually makes any difference, but I'll just put it over here for now because I'd rather use this space over here for some plants. So I'm not sure how much exactly I want to do because uh, some things produce a lot more than others. I can get loads of potatoes but very few carrots. So I have to admit, this is a bit of a janky ability, but when it works, it works very nicely. There we go. But I now realize there's a tree in the way, so uh, <laughs> I can't quite do my Rosa 4 idea entirely. I mean, I guess I could actually. What I could just do then is quickly just do this. There you go. And do I want to have like a break in between? So say I was to begin, hold on, turn around and begin from here. One, two, three. Ah, see, I don't want to like go past a path. So this can be the turnips. Oh, I really regret doing that. I can't undo that. Oh, that hurts. Well, here's the tomatoes. Do it carefully, Becca. Don't muck it up. This is gonna bug me too much. I have to get rid of this. Oh God, that was an absolute waste. Hopefully I can buy some more from Agami. There we go. Carefully do the letters correctly without throwing it everywhere. Next up are some potatoes, spring onions, and some carrots. Oh, so for the apple tree, equip your shovel and dig a hole to plant a tree or a bush. Okay then, so here's my shovel. And here's my apple tree. Nope, hold on. Okay, I guess I'll dig a hole first. Uh, where do I want to put this? Where do I want to put this? I kind of like the idea of it being near the water. Actually, you know what? I think like right here. Do I, do I want it there? It's a tree, right? I gotta be careful where I put it because it'll take a long time to mature, like a really long time. I think right here would be a cute spot. There we go. And I will just chuck you in there and just leave that to go, I suppose. Right then. And then Emerald can do what Emerald is really good at. And <laughs> irrigate everything. Oh, nearly everything. Did I miscount? I must have miscounted. Well, not a big deal. Wait, can I pick up the pond? Oh. Huh. You ever just pick up an entire pond? Hold on. Could I just like put the pond in a pen? Because that would look adorable. Oh my god, I can. <gasps> Isn't that just precious? Okay, well not this time. This is for my actual crops and such. But that's actually really good to know. I had no idea about that. And now my apple tree is at a completely random location. <laughs> okay, so I do still want to buy some uh, replacement seeds for the ones I missed out on. But before I do that, I would like to check out this little set over here. So I can put down like a little table. I can put down a little picnic area like this on the table? No. <laughs> I could put down a couple of chairs, like one there, and that's about it really. Hold on, <laughs> a little lamppost. I guess this is a bit of a crowded location, but it's just kind of fun to find out. It's a shame I can't put things on the table, I would really like that. I could, however, put the lamp 
here. Actually, no, I can't. I can't put it anywhere. Hold on. Oh, yes, I can. Just not too close to the house, but I could put it there. Is that the same as my other lamps? No, it's different. <laughs> but I can sit at this little table. It's really adorable. At some point, I should look into... Uh... Oh, hold on. No. Okay. At some point, I should look into like some more of the decorations you can get. You can get like a whole bunch of stuff. This is what I've gotten so far. But I do fear this will become too long of an episode if I carry on. So I will wrap it up here then and spend some time cleaning up the pens, um, take care of the dinos, and just going out for another wander. Bit of a different episode this time, but I thought, you know, we kind of overdrew a bit of building, a bit of farming, you know, kind of one of the main parts of the game that I think I've been neglecting in the videos because I've been so keen on getting like colored dinosaurs and progressing the story and everything. <laughs> so I had to show a bit of this. But again, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've been enjoying it. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.